Hey YouTube, this is Brittany, AKA Brit Inspires. Um, coming to you guys to make a video, just to share some encouraging words with you guys. Hope you're having a great day so far, or a great morning. I just made my coffee, and you know, I'm just gonna enjoy this as I just, you know, talk with you guys briefly. Um, so today, I really just want to just encourage you to keep going, keep working towards your goals. Um, here's the thing, whatever you, whatever you think of in your mind and your heart, that is what you create in your reality. We have so much power and I always like say this, I know that it's said everywhere and sometimes we can hear people say, you know, you hear people say, oh, you have so much power, or you're so, you have so much potential and sometimes you don't feel like it because your everyday life, you feel like you're really stuck in your own reality of what's going on around you. But let me tell you this. The truth is what you think in your mind truly is the reality that gets materialized. So your imagination, the things that is going on in your mind that you think of yourself, whether it be negative or positive, that is what's materializing in your reality. It's that straightforward. And I know like there's so many different techniques to manifesting in reality. You got manifestation magic. You have all these different things like manifest and um, you know, you create your reality and you're so powerful. But I think what comes down to it is how do you see yourself? When you look in the mirror in the morning, or when you look when you look at yourself, when you sit it, think about who you are. What do you think of yourself? Think about the phrase in the Bible when it says, I am the I am. I am the I am. These are affirmations that are set in the Bible. Now, we're when we do affirmations for ourselves and we affirm who we are, that becomes our reality. So you, when you say, I am, I am this, I am that, I am that, you are speaking that over your life and it becomes a reality for you. So I am very guilty of this. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm just not that organized or oh I'm not that this or no and you're really putting that on yourself so you have to retract speak to yourself in a way where it's encouraging and uplifting you know where you're like I am organized I am intelligent I am I am all of the things that I want to be already I don't have to prove nothing I don't have to do one extra thing I'm already who I always wanted to be I'm already in the position that I always wanted to be in because I'm right at the creation or I'm in the creation. Another thing that I wanted to say, and I talked about this on my live last night, is love what you do. I'm not trying to be cliche. This is really, I honestly, it's Ecclesiastes. If you search and search and search for the answers of happiness, like what, is that, what does it mean to be happy? How can I be happy? Really learning, learning to really enjoy the work that you do then it's like you're able to really enjoy your life because when you're spending your days laboring on things that you don't enjoy, things that don't make you happy, then it's pulling you away from your higher self, your higher being, living in full fulfillment. Um, so find things that you can enjoy. Really spend that time working in that capacity. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. Um, but also, you know, definitely make sure you see yourself in the right light. Stop putting yourself down. Stop looking for ways, you know, to um, make yourself seem smaller than what you are. Like, don't don't play small, you know, when you're around other people and maybe you're a little bit feeling like, okay, let me just let me just take it down a notch. No, be your true authentic self. Be free in your authenticity. It is the authenticity that wins this game. It is the authenticity that brings you to a state of abundance, a state of happiness, a state of fulfillment. Just be your true self. Know that you are that, you know, say, I am the I am, I am, you know, just affirm yourself in your mind. I'm bad with affirmations, you know, but I realize and I learned how important they are. I realize and know how important it is how you see yourself. It doesn't matter how the world sees you. It doesn't ma matter how your family sees you. It doesn't matter how your best friends, anybody, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you see yourself. And when you look in the mirror and you see the value, you see the core foundational things about yourself and you know I'm a great person I have a lot to offer um I love people and you know what also people love me they love me 
people love me. Don't don't look in the mirror and tell yourself, oh, nobody cares for me. Nobody like, no, people love me. I, I go in a room and I get attention from people because they love me. They love my energy because I have good energy. So speak life over yourself. No, stop speaking negatively. Stop staying in that space. It's time to start creating abundance. It's time, it's time to start walking in purpose and authenticity and freedom. And then you, when you catch that wave of freedom and being yourself fully, authentically, without fear of anyone thinking anything of you, because fear, fear is an illusion. And fear is what holds us back from being true to ourselves, to being true in our reality, being happy and fulfilled. So we replace fear with love. We replace fear with love. You love so much that there's no room for fear, you know? Fear is within yourself. It's what you're perceiving out of the world. It's how you're perceiving the world. It's what you're creating as your reality. So let go of the fear. Fear has no place here. And, and, and replace it with love for yourself and love for others. Love and give, look, give that same love to other people. You know, encourage and uplift them, speak life to their dreams, see their visions, and then do the same for yourself. Okay? So that's my um, words of encouragement. Um, I got to get to work. <laughs> so I can't really make a super long video today, but I was like, you know what? Today I'm making a video. Every single day I'm going to make it a habit. But I just want to send some encouragement to you guys. If you like this content, please like, share, and comment below. And yes, have a beautiful day. Make it a beautiful day. And see yourself in the highest light that you possibly can. And love on others. Have a great day.